More than 10 million COVID-19 vaccine doses have now been allocated to providers across Texas. Several of you have asked what happens to leftover doses at these sites. KXAN's Avery Travis looked at how providers avoid wasting doses and what that means for people waiting. It was almost like the Hunger Games, even for people who qualified. That's how it felt for Lauren Eckert, trying to get a vaccine appointment. It seemed like even though I was on so many wait lists, there were people that were getting appointments before me, and I have to wonder, were they even calling anyone from the wait list? Austin Public Health says they don't have a wait list. At their sites, they carefully manage their appointment numbers to ensure there are no leftover doses at the end of the day. A spokesperson said in the rare situation when a vial is opened and there are additional doses, staff and volunteers on site are offered the vaccine as they're deemed frontline workers by the state. Travis County tells KXAN there's a similar policy when they hold events at their Circuit of the Americas site. In Williamson County, volunteers are offered leftover doses, but only if they volunteered more than 15 hours. The county also has a standby list of people who are eligible to call at the end of the day. But you do prosecute if somebody throws away a vaccine. That, to me, is unconscionable. Immunization expert Dr. Peter Hotez says with the threat of new variants of COVID-19, these providers can't slow vaccinations or waste doses. So I think we've got to destigmatize. You know, uh, if 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 we're not adhering strictly by the guidelines, it's not it's not the vaccinator's fault. It's the fault of the guidelines. In Austin, Avery Travis, KXAN News. As of today, Austin Public Health is changing the way people lock in appointments for their first dose of the vaccine. APH now releases appointments for the entire week on Monday nights, as opposed to once on Tuesdays and again on Thursdays. According to a weekly report from the Texas Department of State Health Services, 375 doses of the vaccine have been wasted in Travis County. Providers are required to self-report why those doses were not used to vaccinate a person. And some of those reasons include mechanical failure of the freezer, broken vials or syringes, and vaccines that could not be used within the required time frame. Each vaccine is only usable for so long once it's prepared and thawed. Doses of Pfizer's vaccine have to be administered within six hours of mixing and preparing. Unused doses can't be refreezed. Same goes for Moderna's version. Although the company says its vaccine may be kept at room temperature twice as long, the CDC still only gives it up to six hours. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine doesn't have the same super strict temperature requirements, but it should be kept refrigerated. Once a vial is punctured, it should be used within six hours if it's kept cool. But once it's at room temperature, it's good for two hours. The CDC says it's OK for fully vaccinated people to gather indoors without masks with other vaccinated people. We believe these new recommendations are an important first step. To our, in our efforts to reduce, resume everyday activities in our communities. Officials also say vaccinated people can also gather with low-risk unvaccinated people from a single household. That means vaccinated grandparents visiting their healthy children and grandchildren. An expert at St. David's Medical Center in Austin gave his view on these new guidelines. I think the CDC is maybe dangling a little bit of a carrot here and saying, um, you know, this, this, is, this is a positive consequence um, of getting vaccinated. Officials say a person is considered fully vaccinated two weeks after receiving the last required dose of vaccine.